<laughs> hey guys, this is Red Thanatos and today we are doing the Care City of Sintranos walkthrough part 9. So, we will be starting with stage P15. What do we need for this stage? Ideally, we would need some AoE block debuffs for our team, AoE block buffs, strong crowd control as always, but that's ideally. Because of the conditions here, we can't have whatever we want. So, we will use what we have. Let's see the champions that we can use. We can use Dracomorph, which is a very nice damage dealer and has some good debuffs that he applies AoE on the enemy team. You could use Basatha here, which has AoE stun and some protection and healing for the team. Ugo, of course, is one of the best epics that the game has to offer to us. Royal Guard is a very good damage dealer and has some interesting debuffs. And of course, Big Goon for the AoE DPS and the chances to get a stun. If you don't have this champion, Stratigos Islin could help your team by protecting it, of course. And of course, Venomitz has the AoE poisons that he can apply. Even Elheim, even Apothecary, which is a rare, and even Jerag could help you with this stage. So, let's begin, guys. So, what do we have for this wave? We have Tyrant Tixlimor, Prince Kaimar, Mortu Macab, Within the Crown, and Umbral Enchantress. This is a Demon Spawn wave. This is a very hard wave to face. If you don't have some good champions, you will definitely have problems here. So, what I suggest that you do, if you have a Basatha, as he is a free to play champion, and most of the people that are on this stage would have him, I believe. Try to AoE stun the enemies as soon as possible, be the first to hit them, then kill more to Maka because if he's passive procs you will have problems 100%, then go for Kaimar, go for Umbral Enchantress and then kill Withir and uh, Tyrant Ixlimor of course. So let's see now, as you can see just with one Royal Guard and the debuffs of core placed by Dracomorph we managed to almost kill the whole stage. So, wave number 2. We have Valkyrie, Rathmatap, Kantra, Opardin and Haikatun. Again, you will need to have some crowd control because if Valkyrie manages to apply the counter attack and the shields, the, the fight will get tough for you and it will take a lot more time than what it should. But if she won't be able to apply the seals, as you can see, then the fight will be easy. And wave number 3 we have Masalet, Ultimate Death Knight, Elegaius, Harvest Jack and Dark Aethel. Again, if you have some crowd control, it would be nice when you are facing Masalet because he will try to crowd control you, so it's better that you try to crowd control them first. As you can see, Basatha did his work, and now Bigun tries to kill the remaining of them. And we have some opposite affinity problems, but it's all under control. And that should be it. Yep. That was stage P15. Let's go on the next one. So guys, we are on stage P16 and we are facing a double boss. Here it's Tainted Hellraiser and Agred. So ideally here you need AoE block debuffs for your team. You should have a buff stripper, but we don't have an AoE buff stripper with these conditions. So what we have to do is try to crowd control the spiderlings so that they won't counter attack and heal the spider. Let's see the champions that we can use. We have Arix, which is an amazing crowd control champion AoE for the spiderlings and for DPS overall, even some protection. You can use Razin, which is a free to play champion, the first fusion that this game had to offer to us. And imagine after all those years, we can still use him. He is a very nice champion. He has AoE, decreased their meter, and he has single hit, decreased defense and weaken. And he can still buff with his A1. What else we have? We have Walking Tom Drang with his AoE burn that cannot be resisted. Very nice champion. And I chose to use Melga just for the chances to revive our champions if they die. And of course Basatha for some extra heal 
and an extra AOE stun if it's needed. So let's see the fight now. So in the beginning of this fight, you will have many many poisons applied to your team. And just because we haven't got any HP out of the spider yet, so I don't care about the healing, I will go and try the AOE burn from Walking Tom Drake. I don't really care about all those poisons, they will not affect me at all. Arix managed to delete it one shot the spider links, so that will help. Let's focus on the spider first because the dragon is not really that big of a menace. And we have the heal from Walking Tom Drang. This is an amazing legendary guys that I choose to use whenever I can because for real he can do many things. He has his AOE burn, he has the, the healing that he can do, even his A1 is useful from time to time. Let's try to steal this attack, we couldn't. As you can see, we are cleaving them down with our AoEs, with the burns. I think that this is the turn that the Spiderlings will come if I don't manage to kill her. Let's see if Razin can do this. No, but Arix will come for the glitch. And it's done. You see, sometimes if you have pure power, you can manage to not care about the mechanics of the stage. And that was it. That was stage P16, the double boss is down. Let's go on the next one now. So guys, we are on stage P17 and because of the conditions here, we have a really low amount of champions that we can use. So let's go straight away to the champions that we can use. We can use Iron Brago, which was free to play once upon a time. You could use Martyr. Godseeker Aniri is a champion that could help you with healing and reviving. You can even use Norok if you have built him with some strong DPS set. He will apply some damage, trust me. And of course, Corvus the Corruptor is very, very good when it comes to wave clearing with his AoE poisons. Now, you could use even a rare which is called Templar if you want to play with this stage. And of course, Duke the Pierced is one of the most amazing epics that, epics that we can have when it comes to crowd controlling, when it comes to debuffing. Even Sun Slash Survivor could help you or even Frenzy the Cackler would be of help for this stage. So let's see the fight now. So, for wave number one, we have Arix, Semnath, Mother Saibel, Narma the Returned, and Farsalas. So, what you should do, try to crowd control Arix because she will try to crowd control you, and be careful of Mother Saibel because she will try to apply an AoE decrease defense and AoE revive on death, which is very annoying when you want to finish the fight early. So, if you have Norog and apply these AoE block buffs, you will not have to be careful of the buffs that Arix or Mother Sabel can apply to the enemy team. And as you can see, we can already leave the poisons do their work now. So, wave number two, we have Lysandra, Alexander, Vasilius, Runner, Lona Tharil, and Ethlyn the Golden. Again, try to crowd control Lysandra because she will try to apply some decreased turn meter in your side and increase turn meter on the enemy side, and of course, you don't want that. 
If you have Martyr, you can AoE provoke the enemies and this will be the end of them, of course. And remember guys, when you are in the spot on the wave that you can easily win the rest of the wave, try to A1, try to use your A1 so that you can reset the cooldown again of your good abilities because every time you enter a new wave, you have to have at least two or three good abilities to start the fight. So, wave number three, we have Startus, Minaya, Lugan, Lord Sanford and Lady Cullen. Again, if it's possible, try to crowd control Minaya and Startus because they will try to crowd control you. Not Minaya, Startus, but Minaya will try to remove some buffs and try to heal the enemy team. And of course, you don't want that. And Poison did its magic and we won this stage 2. Stage P17 is down. Let's go on the next. So guys, we are on stage P18. And of course, again, because of the conditions, we won't be able to play with a lot of champions. So let's see the champions that we can use. You can use Tyrant Ixlimor, which many people sleep on him. I personally, when Hydra was out, I used him as a protector and some AoE damage with his burns. He has some healing. You can use Husk too, which is another great Hydra champion that I still use on my teams. It's an epic champion that has AoE crowd control, single target crowd control and some good solid AoE damage of course. And Magnar is one of the best nukers when it comes to HP nukers of epic champions. And even you could use Uros the Soul Cage, which is a free to play champion and can surely protect your team when it comes to needing for protection. Even Vogoth, if you are having problems and you need a healer, Vogoth could definitely help you with this stage. And a special shout out to Doomscritch here. It's, an, it's a rare champion that can definitely protect your team and be of a clutch when you need him. So let's see the fight now. So, wave number one. We have Nekmothar, we have Bagsatha, Roxam, Razin, Skarhide and Jare. So, what you should he do here is try to crowd control Nekmothar, try to crowd control Razin and Basatha because all those three champions will try to crowd control you if you allow them to play freely. Firstly try to kill Nekmothar, then go for Basatha, then Razin and then will, the fight will be over before you know it. So, wave number 2, we have Ignatius, Samrock, Drogul, Golgar, Deathbell and Maneater. Again, you definitely need some crowd control here because if you leave Maneater unattained, he will try to make an unkillable team here and he will apply AoE block debuffs, which of course you don't want. And now we can just try to decrease the cooldowns of our abilities so that we go on the last wave ready to face it. So, wave number 3 now. We have Rael, Lanakis, Ruel, Knock the Paralyzer, and Dirandil. So, on this stage I suggest that you try to crowd control Rael and Lanakis and to be honest then you will not have many problems with this stage at all. I don't know, maybe try to kill Raya first, try to kill whoever is not crowd controlled. Your choice. You don't need any particular strategy for this wave. 
and that was stage P18, let's go on the next one now. So guys, we are on stage P19 and what we should be using for this stage is crowd control of course. You can use Elegaios which is a very nice wave destroyer, you could use Gorgit if you are lucky to have him, I don't need to explain why. You could use Skull Crown of course because he is a massive wave clearer and Bigur again is a very good AoE damage dealer and of course he has some crowd control and even Cold Heart if you want because she has some crowd control too, she has some AoE damage, you could use her. Now, if you have Faceless and you want to remove some particular champions one-shotted, of course you can use him too. What else we have here? Even Bainstofus is a very nice champion that can apply some damage and of course the buffed champion Queen Eva, if you have her and you have her ready to go, use her, she is an amazing champion from now on. And Kale of course. And even Judge a rare can be used in this stage again. So let's see the fight now. So wave number one, we have Astralon, Polsing, Roskar the Tower, Corvus the Corruptor and Adriel. For this stage I suggest that you try to kill straight away Astralon and Roskar of course because you don't want them to be applying AoE stun on you or applying block damage on the enemy team because this will make the fight take a lot more than it should. I'm just trying to keep my cooldowns for the next wave because this was easy. So wave number two, we have Oella, Green Warden, Duedan, King Kalkobar and Seasa. We have some, a, some kind of a tanky wave here. So if you come, Try to crowd control Oella, King Alcobar and Duedan because they will try to apply some buffs, some debuffs and again they will try to make the fight take a lot longer than what it should. And finally wave number 3 we have Bracus the Shifter, Longbeard, Warchift, Sneak Track and War again of course. So, this wave in particular is not very hard, you will have to kill Bracus first because he will be revived and you don't want him to be messing around with you with some fears. So I choose to kill Bracus first, then maybe go for Longbeard because of the team attack, sneak track them and the fight will be done. So that was it guys, that was stage P19, let's go on the next one now. So we are at stage P20 and for this stage we will be needing some protection of course if that's possible. Block damage of course if you have Demitha, you need some AoE bands, you need some AoE crowd control again if that's possible. Now let's see the champions that we can use. We can use Buranjiri which can provide the AoE crowd control that you need. You have Demitha which can provide the protection that you need for your team. Venomage has the AoE poisons too. Jarek has a good protection for your team again. You have Gala Longbreds of course which is the king of one shot attacks on a single enemy. What else we can use here? Even Madman with the stun set would be useful. Kursa Deep Heart another air that you can use. And Geomancers of course, Oboro, Rare Guard Sergeant for some extra protection and Morag with her team attack and her AoE DPS. Now, if you're having more problems and you need another reviver, you can use Aeox, you can use Genbo the Dishonored of course, which has very good AoE DPS. Gori has some crowd control and some DPS and even Toragi is very very valuable when it comes to in you needing some extra protection. So let's see the fight now. So wave number one, we are facing Truda, Blood Painter, Rock Tooth, Plester and Fodor the Bard. So for this wave I suggest that you try to crowd control Trunda and kill her first of course, then go for Fodor the Bard and the rest of the champions here are not even worth mentioning. Thank you. 
and we are trying to reset the cooldowns now with our ones So, wave number two, we have Ninja, Kyoku, Jintoro, Genshin, and Wujin. Again, try to crowd control Ninja and Kyoku. Kill Ninja first, then go for Kyoku, then you can go for Genshin and Jintoro. And now I should start to try to reduce the cooldowns from the abilities. So, wave number 3. Final wave for this stage. Krilla, Danag, Tila, Gormain, Artak and Gelag, Girna. So, for this stage I suggest that you try to crowd control Arlak and Krilla because they are the most dangerous champions on this wave. Of course, Danak will try to apply some buffs, some debuffs and you will have some problems with him too but the biggest trouble here that you can face is Artak and Krilla. And they are both done just because of the passive that we have on the Geomancers of course. It's always nice to see the enemy kill himself via the passive of Geomancer. And that was it, that was stage P20 guys, let's see the next one now. So guys, we are facing stage P21. What do we need for this stage? We need some solid AoE crowd control of course. If it's possible to have some AoE block debuffs for your team or at least a cleanse, it would help you for sure. Now, the combo that you can do for this stage if you are having problems, of course, and you want to result on the last efforts that you can do is have Basser decrease the cooldown of the enemies and then have Duedan on Stone Skin for two turns. He will apply the taunt buff on him so that the enemies will always attack him with their air ones and this will be it you will be able to defeat this stage for fun now let's see the champions that we can use we can use Basser as I already told you Giscard is a very nice champion too uh, Stagnite of course we all know what St Stagnite can do he's an amazing champion Ruella is a very cool champion too Archmage Helmut with his AoE stance and his increased turn meter will help you too Steel Skull is a very nice support champion alongside with Nia of course and as I already told you Duedan is a very very nice tank. If you are in need of a reviver Ursula the Mourner is here to help you. Now even Gnarhol can help you with his AoE Provoke and Flanan with his team attack. And if you need another bit of crowd control Creodan the Blue is here for you too. So let's start the fight now. So what do we have here? We have Staltus, Ronda, Black Knight, Septimus and Archmage Helmut. So if you have Basser, you don't need to worry about anything, no need to follow any tactics for this particular wave. Now if you don't have Basser, just try to crowd control Staltus just as we did here, then go for Ronda, kill Staltus, kill Ronda and then the fight will be easy for you. So, wave number 2, we have Maranix, Truath, Poly, Ghostborn and Warden. Again, if you have Basser, you don't even need to, to listen to this video, you can just pass the waves as it is. Now, if you don't have Basser, try to crowd control 
Trua, try to crowd control Ghostborn, kill Folly first because you don't want him to be able to kill in your champions and blocking their revive. And then the wave will be done. So, wave number 3, we have Walking Tom Drain, Tomb Lord, Calvalax, Thea the Tomb Angel and Golden Reaper. Again, try to crowd control them. Try to crowd control Walking Tom Drain and Calvalax here because they are the, the champions that can harm your team more than the others. Of course, Walking Tom Drain even has healing for the enemy team, so you don't want them to overheal when you just are ready to kill them, of course. And that was stage P21. Guys, let's go on the next and the final stage for this video. So guys, we are facing stage P22, the last stage for the day today. It's Tainted Clisius, of course. So what do we need for this boss? We need AoE block debuffs. You need some solid, strong HP hitters, if that's possible, as we have Husk for this stage. And even decrease defense and decrease attack AoE with Stagnite would be very good for this stage. So... Let's see what we have as champions. You can use Sifi and Duchess Lilithu which are the best supports in my opinion. Even Withir and Katja the Rai can help you here. Sethalia Minaya and Timid the Fool of course. Even Uros the Soul Kids can help you here. Tyrant Ixlimor can protect your team and can apply some strong HP burn on the enemy team. So even if you are lacking on heals you can use Bogoth to get those extra heals to survive the attacks of Tainted Clisius and if you happen to not have Kaja, not have Sifi or Duchess you can use Ursala the Mourner as your reviver for this team and Gorgorab too of course so that was it let's check the fight now so guys of course we will proceed in applying AoE block debuff so that we won't get frozen AOE, decrease defense and decrease attack if that's possible of course. And the decrease speed from Stagnite is very sweet. I choose to not focus his minions at all. And that's because we have the AOE stun of course. And now as you can see if I had killed his minions they would have been revived again so it's no point on focusing the minions. See how strong those husks are guys, I'm telling you it's an amazing champion, all around her. And that was stage P22, that was the end of the video for today, the Care City of Sintranos part 9 is already done, thank you for watching guys, I hope that you are doing okay, see you on my next video, bye bye.